Um, I don't know. I don't know. You know, I wasn't planning on leaving the house before this. And then, you know, at the old story, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. So I moved. And actually, I just, as we're speaking, I'm just unpacking boxes in the new house. But I don't know. I don't know. And everyone's like, is this your forever home? I'm like, I thought two houses ago was my forever home. I don't know. What would your mom say about this? Would she be like, just get your ass up, Melissa, take that money and get that. Oh, yeah. She would be like, you know, take the money and go. So that's what I did on the house before this. So we'll see, you know, that right now there is a huge, uh, inventory issue in the area I live where there is none. Wow. So you never know. Someone could come. I mean, with the house, this house that I just moved into, uh, before it even went on the market, they had three offers. I just was the first one in. Wow. Yeah. Well, maybe if you just don't do a good job fixing it up, I mean, (laughs) Well, you never know, but a friend, very, one of my best friends is a realtor and she's like, I could get you X, Y, Z for that house right now. I'm like, okay, don't challenge me. Do it. She goes, where would you go? And she's like, I'm like, God, that's a really good point. That's a really good point. Where would you go? Cause you couldn't get right the same thing for that amount anymore because the market's so screwy. That's how it is in New York too. I mean, probably oh, New not York's crazy. Yeah. New York You're like, is- crazy I guess unless you go into a rental you just don't know what to do no how does your friend by the way there's something to be said for renting you know I I was like as soon as I got in this house and realized shit I gotta play for the repairs and do this and do that I'm like why the hell did I get out of a rental the last apartment I owned in New York I sold I don't even want to tell you how many years ago and I was going into a rental for one year and it's not it's many, many years later, you just, I was like, what, this is nice. Like what a life. Now I've bought something and it's different, but there's something to be said about a rental. It's totally. Oh my God. There's something said that it's not your problem. I mean, it is your problem because you're living it, but you just have to make the call and send someone else the bill. It's awesome. And then you're like, okay, you fix that like 95% perfect. I'm like you, if it was me, it has to be a hundred percent. Oh, and then I drive myself crazy too. I'm like, all right, well, this is fine. I'm not going to be here forever. So yeah. Right. I can make it work. How and would- by the way, and this morning I discovered that a major flaw in where I put my vanity mirror and the height of it, because I can only now see like barely from my chin up. I'm like, what the hell did I do? Now you have to move on. But I'm like the same, when I move in somewhere, everything, like forget six months, like it needs to be, like we need to get this done and then that's yeah. its place and I, it's not going to move. Yeah, then I, I've got all my shit back all over my bathroom counter right now. I'm like, what am I doing? How would your BFF Josh Flagg feel about you using this other BFF woman realtor that you mentioned? Um, well, Laura has been my friend for since our boys were in fourth grade. She comes so, before Josh. She she predates Josh. Also, I really don't want to mix friendship, even though I do it. Okay, I don't want to mix my friendship with Josh with things. <laughs> because, you know, and also, by the way, the stuff that Josh sells is really out of my age, ge- ge- uh, geographical area. But I don't want to have enough to spend to be one of Josh's clients. He has a certain demographic, that's for sure. Oh my God, you know, and and I think he would get annoyed at me if I'm like, no, 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 half that number, half that number. I could see Josh getting really mad at me. He'd be like, I showed you five things. Come on, Melissa, just make a decision. He got really annoyed at me because I couldn't answer a question for him yesterday over text. He was like, do you know X, you know, how to do X, Y, Z? I'm like, no. And then I get, why not? I'm like, because I don't, can't you find someone who can figure this out? Josh, I'm at dinner. Well, okay, but why can't you do that? I'm like, I can't, but I love him. I love him so much. We love him. Well, listen, a year ago, almost, you caused this media frenzy when you said that you were thinking of adopting a child and you were thinking about it for six years and you were 80% there. It was like a media frenzy. So here we are almost a year later. So any updates on that? Um, only only ones that I 
find are kind of sad. Um, a lot of people told me how incredibly difficult it would be for me to do. Um, I'm over 50. I'm a single person. Da, 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 da. Yes, I'm sure I could make it work. But I really come to the conclusion that I'm not sure it would be fair to a child. You know, I'm not 100% sure that it would be fair. Am I completely out of the market? No. But I don't want to, you know, people are like, oh, well, you could do special needs and they're giving them a wonderful life. And I do think about that still. But I also think, is it really fair? Is it fair? That's what it came down to. And everyone else, I was also told how difficult it would be for me to do. Wow. You know, you know, you have to check yourself and put someone else's needs in front of what you, or someone else in front of what you want. Right. Do I still want it? 100%. Do I think it's the right thing to do? I'm not sure anymore. And believe me, I've cried a lot of nights because with that realization. I didn't really, I mean, I guess I didn't think of it that it's hard, you know, like I look at like a Madonna who's did it. I mean, okay. That's maybe not the average example. <laughs> uh, yes. But like, you know, at 50, whatever, but I guess I didn't even really think about that. It would be hard. I just figured, you know, if you want to, and you have the means their doors are open, but I guess. By the way, my... they're absolutely but does that make it right? Right. And it's putting the, the quality of life of the child ahead of your own. Right. You know, absolutely. I could, you know, do this, do that, do that. But is it really the right thing to do? Is it the right thing to do for me? Is it the right thing to do for my son? Is it the right thing to do for a child? And if you, you can't 100% say yes to all those things, then you're doing a disservice to another human and that's not right. Right. And that's really the definition, I guess, of parenthood, like is putting yeah. your children first, you know, and I, and, and, you know, it's a little bit heartbreaking for me, but I know that it's the right decision. That's good. I mean, even though it's heartbreaking. Yeah. What would your mother say if you, if she were, would she say the more the merrier or like, are you she crazy, would, Melissa? She would, she would yell at me for not pulling the trigger earlier. I should have done it six years ago, but I just wasn't in the place and I had too much going on and juggling too much, too many things and dealing with, you know, my mother's passing and the estate and this and getting my son through it and getting work back on track. So you go, okay, this is not the right time. Again, I really feel strongly that it has to be the situation that's going to be right for, and I mean, even if, and if we were like, well, you could give a special needs child a wonderful life. Absolutely. But what happens when I'm gone? Is that right. fair? I'm not 30. Right. You know, I'm not for like, is that right? Are you going to suddenly you know, what's the average life expectancy, like 70 something, you know, do you want to leave a, a 21 year old or whatever? I can't do the math in my head. That's this early. 